In this video, I'll describe how replacement parts are handled on a sales order in Next. I have a sales order started already, and I'm going to enter a part number 1P2299, which is a replaced part number. And as soon as I enter that item number, the replaced part, a 1R0750, is recognized and immediately changed on the sales order line. This happens based on a replacement table that's populated from vendor information. And also, if the old part number was available in stock or at any branch store, it would stop and this auto replacement wouldn't happen. But on a simple one-for-one -one replacement with no old inventory available, it simply replaces it for you. And I'll show you on the line details. It adds a text field that it replaces and shows the part number it replaced. This is what will print on the pack and slip and invoice so the customer knows why he's receiving a different item than what he may have ordered. Another type of replacement that happens is the backwards replacement. I'm going to add another sales order line for part number 1 Robert 0722. And when I enter this part number, I want to point out this line warning. This line warning tells the part salesperson that there's additional information about this part and that they should check the item availability form. So in checking the item availability form, I see that there is a replacement part shown, a 9J5461, and I also have a double arrow icon showing this is, this is telling the parts salesperson this is a backwards replacement, so it's warning him that I still have old inventory available. I can click the Use Selected Record to bring that part up to the top and see the actual availability for it, and then Transfer to Line will bring that old part number back to the sales order. This is very useful in helping a dealer utilize all their old inventory before starting to sell new inventory. Another type of replacement that happens is the multiple replacement or either or replacement. So I'm going to go ahead and enter another item to demonstrate this. And in this case, a multiple replacement selection box pops up. And in this case, I have this item is replaced by either these first three as a multiple replacement or this last item. So I'd have to determine which was the correct using vendor information such as a NPR. And then I'd select the appropriate replacement for my situation or my machine and apply. And this will add these items to the sales order line replacing the item that was entered. And just like you saw on that first item, if I look at the line details, it also shows the text on all three of those items that is replacing the item that was entered. Again, this prints on the packing slip and invoice so the customer knows why he's receiving a different item than what he ordered. That is how Naxt handles replacement parts on the sales order line.